morning guys, a good great morning to all who tune into the realest thing coming out of Guyana. Well here now, I want time I am to go off and know why me this is what really is me problem with me this um why me this come out late and all I gotta be honest, it's just that me I got it if I had the the time I would show you all this Alec this morning, well couple days now my wash clothes. Me had a mountain of clothes in my bedroom. And we looking for somebody, we looking for a maid. Well, we get somebody coming today for an interview. One lady come the other day. Let me tell you about Guyana and how the people screwed up. Right? And a lot of people, the, the, the problem is their own cars in. Today's road trip. Nobody wants to see Everybody's saying they don't want to see me ugly face. So why are you showing me ugly face for? You know what I'm Yeah. So, um, a lady come. So Mr. Man, Auntie, you know, the last maid we had, she thief on the life. She she so thief and she thief on the life. Right? And um all we with this place small. Got a little clean kitchen, you know, not much preparing the food. We just want rice. If we get curry from Sunny and Sweetie, somebody cook for we and we go party and think I be eat. Yeah, I've been eating enough. Yeah, eat a little bit, a little bit. Yes, I'm a belly done too long. So I say, Auntie, you got for, you know, once your hand is fast, I be this go do well, I be this go do good. The lady go, my lady call back and say, here, she frightened somebody thief and blame she. <laughs> me saying in me mind this lady didn't even trust her own self. <laughs> because me even bother call back for explain nothing to she. Because I ain't saying she thiefing, right? But stupid is a thing that ain't got cure, stupid not got cure. Yes, a stupid na got cure. Me I tell you man here, we have got a little money about it because remember it's only me and Paul there in the house and Sean. Right? The lady says she frightened somebody thief and blame she. Me say, well God, you don't trust yourself. You imagine me go when me go by people's house, me don't study if nothing will last. Well if you go by if you go by um one one people house you got depth because they would set you up intentionally, right? This is Monrepo, Monrepo's market, by the way. And um, it's all this piece of places. Watch, watch. Watch where he hosting for going and sleeping for park. Where they, where you obviously, I don't know why the police don't come and clear up this place. Every day is the same bullshit with these people. Them, watch, watch. This one got a stop in. There's no stop in place and so. Everybody hosting for going park in like a right where a trap, main traffic, like there, a torn. There's supposed to be a no stopping area for about a hundred feet. You understand? If it's not the cars, then park up is the market. Yes, yeah, so I tell you about Guyana and stupid people. Right? <laughs> so, you got a set of Guyanese, and I want to talk about Glenn Lala, I want to start with this man. I was sleeping in my, he put my mind last night. You got a set of stupid people. Who don't know for do nothing, never did anything for themselves, was never successful at anything. So if they listen to Glenn Lal, they calculate, yes, yes, this man sound like he making sense. This time, not one of we, including me, know nothing but I. Jack, do you feel anyway? Even the people who research I ain't got experience. Even the people who study in the aisle sector, not got experience. So all of we there feeling and touching and, and they were the, like blind man. You understand? Know but Glenn Lal is a blind man in one eye man land. <laughs> and he know everything but aisle and how you're supposed to get it. The only aisle he get in is in the hole. <laughs> this week you get it in the hole. He know who are interview and who not answer question. The man asks a question. Jack, they ask you a question. He said, God go provide for the people. Imagine talking serious politics. Whereas you're holding politicians for provide for the people. And he telling the politician, he telling Jack, Yo, you don't worry, God go provide for the people. <laughs> I don't know why Glenn Lal don't become a pastor. You understand? So I tell everybody, mate, I just decide for dig a, 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 a job in here. All the morning as I remember. You know why I do it? I do it. I tell you intentionally, like somebody message and say, Oh, um, he try to get back at them because they protest in front of the house and this and that. So if the people them come, Monday Smith buggering people. Yes, sir. The other one staying in people's name and going around the place, right? 
and doing one set of rats, clad. Because they come in front of me house, me mustn't talk about them, you making a joke. Me mother give birth to me, mind me and make me so big, and I still talk about me mother. Yes, and nothing is missing nobody with me. Me playing them game with her, yo. I don't know how you all come up with this, how you all get this opinion. Like, I got somebody that I got a likeness for. Yes, and I would drop the hammer upon anybody. That's how I set me rhythm. I wake up in the morning. You understand? And I drop the hammer upon you. Once you get me from me wrong side, it's done. So somebody comes and says, Oh, he's getting back at them. He's getting back at nobody. That's how I deal. What, 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 what Granger ever do me? What Granger ever do me? For when I used to go after and Granger, harm and ever do me. These people never do me nothing personal. I'm low life and hungry belly, been in front of me house, running up and hollering. You understand? So wait, because they come in front of me house, what are you supposed to do when I find out they're buggering, drugging people and buggering them and the day with little girls and all them things? Now I supposed to shut me mouth, I talk about everybody. Now I supposed to stop talking and say, oh, it gonna look like, I care what it look like. I tell you what it is. I have an added interest because they come with a stink mouth in front of my house. I got a special interest in them. You understand? Well, I want a case, whereas if something happened and I got something else to do, a other um, matter might take precedence. But in Monday Smith case and, and smelly smell, them take precedence. Even if I go in for me, the president, and I hear a story about them, I fudge off with the president's story, and I go with this story. Yes, sir. If I go and meet the president, and you promise me food and money, and some little boy call me and tell me money, so do you something, that is the story. Yes, sir. You smell, you smell only hang a dingy dress, put a line on somebody, call and say, this girl got a dingy dress. That is the story. They get special attention from me. Who you want to give special attention? It is only fair the people who give you special attention, you give them special attention. Somebody had told me this morning, but yesterday messaged me how I get him back at get him back. I just get back at everybody. I get back at the whole government. Now the opposition. You believe I want you mistaken? believe that you could come in front of me house and I got left you alone? Eh? Yeah, I'm making joke. I would go behind y'all till in hell! Hello, good morning. Hello? Yes, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. How can I help you? The light bill is very high this month? Yes, I'm calling from Barbies. You're calling from Barbies? What have you been? You're using an electric vibrator? Do you use a vibrator? A vibrator pulls a lot of current. Are you using any electrical appliances that pull a lot of current in your house? The house is empty. There's no fridge. Nothing is working. It's just light. And how much is the light bill? And nothing is on in your house? Maybe you left the vibrator on under the bed and didn't know. You got to check. You got, you got to get somebody to go and check it. So what should I do? You call me, you like, Bill, come here. You got to go to GPL. You got to go to GPL and tell them, me? <laughs> Me, 70,000 nothing in the hand in the house. And you saying the light bill coming high? Me, I be running down there at GPL with me light bill naked as I burn. You understand? She got the vibrator. You ain't know is what I was going after. <laughs> the thing is pull a lot of current. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm telling you, I'm going to tongue. 
I am I, I, I want to be in a position I am trying to be to bring the facts with the boat with the bodies that was found when it come to Georgetown I'll try to be there to make sure you guys see firsthand what is going on yeah early man she called me so she called him from Barbies this time is a foreign number she called him with I don't know it's foreign she called him from yes yeah, sir trying to throw me off me station but she knows who she talking to hello good morning No problem. Sunday it is. Sunday it is. Roger that. By then I'll be back in Georgetown. See it. No problem. No problem. Yeah, call me. Roger. Uh -huh. Roger, ma'am. Yes, I'm telling y'all. But, um, stupidity in Guyana. Right? You imagine I going up there. Yes, and boy, a beast for God. Check the light bill and thing. Next thing, I, I think you ever hear the story about in the box, out the box. You ever hear the story about in the box? The wife buy a thing in the box and out the box. This must be the run of the corner. <laughs> Seventy thousand dollar. You call him me, me. I do waking up by GPL. <laughs> Nothing in the hand in the house. A Seventy thousand dollar light bill. Eh? Lady, you have me. I could call me and throw me off me station. Yeah, I ain't ready yet. Yeah, sir. Smelly smell, try it. Simona Brooms, ministers have tried, governments have tried it. Yeah, sir. All body try with me. Me is a whole different kettle of fish. Yeah, sir. So I'm telling y'all, yes, the lady come. So if you get somebody hiring you, first thing the money wasn't right. Here was up in Guyana now. Everybody asks you how much you're working for. Well, I pay $20,000 a day. How much muscle you got? How much muscle you got? Let me pay $20,000 a day for fetch a bag of rice for your head mark for sale with the rice thing and fetch it to tongue and come back. Yes, and you get the world of money. Oh, buddy, let me sit down and let me discuss well here. How much work I got to do? How much is it worth? Everything got a worth, right? So, the last lady will come, she said, she frightened somebody thief and she get blamed. <laughs> okay. She must be taking me house, this Congress place. <laughs> I get thief and blame somebody. <laughs> All we want is a trustworthy person to come wash. Yes, sir. Do a little clean and thing. And right now I'm cleaning the place myself so I can get the place to the standard who I want it. So I ain't got a nasty place and get them there for clean. I'm washing out all my clothes because I had a mountain of clothes. Yes, I'm washing out all my clothes. I'm making sure I set everything how I want it. That's what I'm going to do. That's what got me late this morning. And then I had to wash some white, white clothes because I had a little dingy shirts and I'm thinking if I can tell the one, I can cost the one but dingy drawers. Right, I gotta get me shots them things. So I'll do I think I got some dingy one that left down and get you know you left clothes lying at the bottom you walk for them and I can think as me clothes is true on the ground, me now buy a clothes basket. You know what I'm saying? I hope that I buy I got a green clothes basket, but I hope they don't think well the PPP pay me. Everybody else got big house, big car and that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? When they come by me, I know get a clothes basket. <laughs> Everybody has the PPP pay critic. So all I get out of this is a clothes basket. <laughs> so I've been washing my white clothes and I have to figure out to the bleach. I have to call people to help me to figure out how much bleach for throw and all kind of thing. You understand? I'm wash my clothes, I wash them two times and so. As I hang out the clothes and people say, what the dingy shirt? So the one got it. So I bleach it out good and, and then she come out back white. You understand? So I tell you all about stupid people and, and Guyana and what people want. So you listen to a man like Glenn Lal. I remember you ain't know nothing. You ain't know nothing, but you glad for listening to anybody we're talking anything we're gonna make any bit of sense to you. Remember, making sense doesn't mean it right. He now know this because he's selling paper for 25 years. He obviously more versed in the media business than me. 
Yes, and having the biggest people, you have to be talking all kind of thing. It so happens if you go back to Kaichonyu's history, you'd realize they made a lot of mistakes. Now, this man, he so, what I will now label as a snake oil salesman, he see me for touch me button. Hello, good morning. Yeah. I hear you. I don't understand what you're talking about, brother. But like you use a little jackass, I will buy what five thousand. You know how much credit I buy? I buy a hundred thousand dollar credit one time, boss. Will you talk about five thousand? You gotta go find one of them little hungry belly low life girl and get them a five thousand dollar credit for text text people and beg them for more. It's a hundred thousand dollar. I just got me phone one time. You come with your little hungry belly low life self all the morning. You got to come over by me and I sit down and show you how I live. I don't want to show this. He got, I got max out my car and he can give me a, 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 um, for broke up this poor old car engine. He can give me a 5,000 credit. You got to go and get Granger the money, you know me? Credit? I don't make joke with me credit. Anybody can tell you when I stop in this 20, 30 thousand dollar credit is by one time. How oh, you believe you've got data for running for hours? 5,000 tap up? I don't get tap up. I don't know what's wrong with these hungry belly people early morning. Next thing people are going to start giving me a tennis roll and a, a tennis roll with cheese for do something. <laughs> they think, like a man, they kill a um, A man kill the hollow black man. The, the man wife, hollow black man wife get a man for killing some horse telling for snow. When he don't yes snow cold. Wait, man, is where me life come to. It's something. Thing I ain't a millionaire, but thing ain't bad with me. Me a white mouth and hungry belly. You got a uh, uh, plus you telling me for a max. So this this thing for the next thing I connect it right, fly out and fly in me head. <laughs> man, I relax at yourself, yeah. I arrest a little hungry belly self and know who are you talking to, yeah. I don't deposit this by five thousand credit. You gotta go and give. One a little flirty, flirty girl. Let she call other people with the credit and beg for credit. <laughs> Why do it 5,000? Where you believe I is calling them people back, calling back number overseas, Russia, you all over the place, people call me, I call them back. How you believe I is do that? With 5,000 credit? Sometimes one phone call I talk in an interview and think I call back somebody is is five six hundred dollar. Buy a relaxer yourself, yeah. I wake up this morning, I go buy a tennis roll and go home and eat. Yes, I ain't know if you got those it down with sugar water, but I remember hey, there was nice days by tennis roll with sugar water by. I had them days I like, telling you as a youth man growing up, sugar water was a thing in we house by. <laughs> I tell you, sugar water. <laughs> this don't make me mouth my so sweet. All the sugar water I drink. Hey, I got to ask me mothers we should learn the sugar water from. The sugar water trick. Because I'm sure Portuguese people didn't come with, with, with sugar water tricks from, from Portugal when they bring them. Yeah, sir. Sugar water was everything. Again, not drink sugar water. Yeah, sir. Sugar water was it. Sugar water and salt water. Gargle salt water. You get knack? Drink sugar water. Yes, sir. Anything is sugar water. <laughs> yeah. It's the must make me mouth so sweet. Mm -hmm. Sugar water. <laughs> I could have been. Well, well when my mother. Did, things they run a little tight with you when I was about 10, 9, and so right. But when I was a baby, man, I used to get. I, well, I hear I used to get the best. And when I watch them picture as a bouncing baby, but I realize I used to get good treatment, yeah, sir. Cause I never did scrangly, you know? And looking like I got berry berry. So I used to get good treatment as a baby. Yeah. But when 9, 10 reaching and so, the PNC really been in the swing them time though, yeah, sir. Sugar water and toast bread. Used to be a thing, Uncle Bort does come home in the afternoon. Uncle Bort used to drive for ramen channel, right? 
my stepfather and he's come home in the afternoon and uh, we can make toast bread be quail bread by I don't know how mean float we you understand I don't know how mean float we because big bell bread used to kick piss by we did yeah, sir. Me mother busy enjoying life and me uncle bought the home hustle for toast bread. Toast bread and butter. And then she cook one time a weekend is like a, 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 a um, five course meal is big excitement with me mother, you know. Mashed potatoes, mashed edos. You understand? And that kind of thing. You know? Big excitement. You gotta eat out all your food. <laughs> if she fall in a good mood, she cook. Now when the banner talking to me yesterday, right? My mother not not never was into no kind of drugs that I knew about. But when the banner talked to me yesterday about the thing we going through and mentally how we was affected, I remember me mother. What you going on? What you going on? This one pulling in front of me and slowing down in front of me. What you going on here? What you going on here? Is what ass is this? PYY5. How? Why? You see, I talk him about stupid people. Like, he get a new car. Next, I ram he car in. And then he, hello, oh God. Oh, uh, who wrong? Uh, who right? Let me go to police station for draw line. I swerve a little bit from the truck just now. So I end up going over. But he decide now. He can stop in front of me and try one little thing. What is wrong with these people? How you gonna hustle for pull in front a man who ain't got no time and place? I would ram he can and then say, man, sorry about the whole situation. What we could do? Yes, uh, what we could do? Yeah, I'll stop with this chubbiness on the road. Yeah, I'll stop looking for problem. Because someday I'll get a problem. I'll get run into somebody who like problem. I don't think it's me alone up on this road. They got more people like me. Yeah, I just do yard. I cruise in. At my little 60 me required this place here. Talking about though. I think I did five kilometers over. Because this day, this is about 55. Right? Or 50 this area here. So. Yeah, I just let me do we thing and let me live nice. I just stop it, I just strip it this. Let me do we thing and live nice. You driving a little fancy car, heavily tinted and everything else, and you're picking a story. Now look who you're picking a story with. <laughs> story God. <laughs> oh lad. Alright, so we then tongue this is Evil area. That is Guyana Police Force uh, Officers Training Center. I think that was built and the main or I think. Up no build. They build one, one thing. PNC do one, one thing. But you want me them. Them not understand the dynamics. I don't think the PNC has the understanding of the dynamics of running a country that is multi-ethnic. You understand? I don't think they have the understanding of that. Because anytime you come in with the assumption that you want you entitled to some right because of slavery and all and you know, you done got it wrong. You have to remember when you can say, Oh, we was here before the Indians or we were here before the Amorins or the Amorins were here before we when we start putting one another before, who bring all of we here? The only body who come where everybody come meet here is the Amorinians. And if you are not willing to respect and say, Well, here now really and truly this is this people thing and we managing it. If you ain't really for sit down at the table and talk now and playing like you ain't never going on, well, what you have to do is don't play, play enough. You ain't know nothing. You understand? You can't play, you know, one thing and you ain't know the other. Though it's playing stupid. You understand? So, I'm trying for today, I'm gonna get some footage for you guys of where this boat land because I want to know first thing we got to know is how much bodies secondly I want to know if it's Guyanese because what we're going to do if the bodies are terribly decomposed 
we look at the clothes and try to get family members next thing we gotta see who missing are there any missing boots you understand because this could be um trinidadians it could be venezuelans we gotta know these bodies belong to who if it's guyanese we got a whole different story you understand we got a whole different story for some reason this little piece of area look crowded today or this is how this area is normally there with all these cars some reason this little piece of place look crowded today They crowded for different reasons. We're going out here. Eh, 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 what you going on here? What you going on here? Eh, eh. So this is a boat that's go. Where's that? 96. Where's 96? So the, 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 there's a barge bringing in this boat with these bodies. And they're supposed to be landing this morning because, you know. So we gotta find the location where the body's coming. And the first thing we gotta do is identify the clothes because if the bodies are decomposed, they said the boat has no marking. You understand? We gotta find out if it's Guyanese. It could be Dominican, it could be Trinidadian, it could be a lot of people who are in these surround Jamaican. You understand? We gotta know who it is. This is forestry. This is forestry. Forestry got a lot going on in Guyana. Central Supply Unit. Uh -uh. I could live with the green with the forestry thing. I mind the whole forestry thing painted in green because that's the that's the appropriate color for it. But other ministries, shit, by the banner look like Majid. What am I in there? What am I in there? What am I walking in there? Some Majid is moving. You look like Majid. Oh, rest, my God, rest the dead. Me and Majid never agree, but. So, I want to talk to the ministry for paint this lighthouse. I want to talk to the ministry for get this lighthouse a good coat of paint again. I think they should use rubberized paint. It's the last land. Maybe it will be nice up the thing, man. We got these things in. <sighs> so this is um, Water Street. This is Water Street, this name? Yeah. This is Water Street. So I go in and I can get the, the, the video footage and everything for y'all. And what we got to extract now, first thing we got to look at the boat. Well, they got photographs of the boat already, but you got to get proper photographs of the boat. From side we were marking, and then we put it out there, and we see where people around the world sees it, and got to identify the family or whoever, because you ain't got nobody in trade if you put it out there. You ain't got nobody in trade that knowing people might missing their family. And you got to remember sometimes boats goes out to sea for 21 days. So somebody's family might gone out for 14 days.